Soaking it twice a day in ox blood, which stings like an angry patch of nettles, I'll tell you that. And a strict diet of kidney pies and soured milks. And the bad humors in your gut? The wife rubs my head with barley mash and no weekly baths, which causes an excess of humors about the house, Doc says. All that and still not improved. Well, looks worse. But it doesn't hurt no more, which could be a good sign. Bathing causes excess humors, eh? Mm, Doc says lots of I couldn't help but notice when you came in. The love stone above the door turned such a murky shade. I'm worried about you. We'll talk. Not this again. Anybody? Ah! Some taffin trespass. That's hey! It. Watch yourself there! Did I mention? Yeah. You don't have to call me Black Mo- Watch! Are we looking for anything special tonight, sir? Have you heard? Quarantine's been lifted. Thought the sir would like to know.
This is Aldale, one of the richest districts of the city, where high society types take strolls in the park or visit the museum with all their leisure time. Every thief in town knows there's plenty of wealth and bubbles to be stolen among the opulence. Only a few know how to get at it, but I've got other things on my mind. It's not enough that every keeper in the city is trying to kill me, but now there's a mysterious old woman after me as well. So I've come to Aldale to find Inspector Drept, from what I've heard, he's obsessed with the fable of a murderous hag, and I'm sure there's a connection. I hope he has a lead for me, because if he doesn't, then I'm at a dead end. We're lucky to have him, with Inspector Drept taking offices so close. Should keep the riffraff at bay. I haven't noticed any difference in the level of riffraffity. In fact, I don't feel so walking down my own street. Wilson says there's an absolute throng of pagans that have taken over the park. Throng? <coughs> Is he sure it's pagans? <laughs> so oh! What? what? Where, where is everything? This place hath nothing of value for thee to steal. I'm more interested in those papers of yours. If they can tell me anything about a, a crone that talks to statues. Thou hast seen the hag? Not just seen. She tried to kill me. But I hear you've been trailing her for years. Yea, I hath followed her trail, but it hath not been clear. I hath even doubted anon that her crimes were more than my own imaginings. But that thou hast seen her as well. Twas in my boyhood, in the orphanage known as the Shalebridge Cradle, that I spied her. I did play at a game with mine friend, and I was hidden, and my friend sought me. Then a hag, a bent in evil apparition, came from the darkness, near enough to touch, and my friend did scream. Was a child and afraid, and then it was over. The orphanage grew a dark and haunted place, and now none dare enter. When came I to my manhood and was saved by the order of the hammer, I sought the hag again. The hag who wears death about her as a cloak. Some who meet her doth vanish, others perish with bloody work done upon their bodies. There are hints spoken of creatures 
made of stone. And ever the tale of a hag, a bent old woman, never old, but grown older, in a span that has taken me from boyhood to mine own age. And you tell me how to find her. She finds her prey now in Aldale. But was in Shalebridge her murders didst begin. Seekest thou a star upon her trail there? Tis the only place I have ere spied her for certain, but I dare never return to that place. That's a good place to start looking. I have no interest in being the latest in her string of murders. do feel safer. I'll wager you only feel safe when you're in the pub. Blinded! 